What's good guys, in this video I'll be showing you um, my daily tasks that I have to do and I basically try to complete them and I talk about random things. Now as of today I have to make a mahogany, um, let's see again, mahogany wardrobes so I'm going to just summon my yak and I think the quartermaster is going to collect the um, flat packs. So I'm just going to put them in my inventory and bank them just in case. And hopefully this is going to go really quickly. But I won't record the whole thing. I'll just talk about a few things that I want to talk about. Now the Botley Bay update just came out and I think it's really cool. Um, I made a vi I hope by the time you watch this video, I actually made a, uh, a review about it. So that's pretty cool. And if you want to watch it, you could just skip to uh you can watch my old video but it gives you it's pretty what the hell okay okay that's a lot of xp dude what the fuck holy shit anyway whoa what the hell uh anyway um i think it's really worth it that the jagex actually put the time to uh take the bots away because i freaking hate bots and it basically ruined this game in my opinion, but now I think the game's gonna evolve and hopefully it's gonna get new players to uh, try out this game without seeing without seeing a bunch of spammers in the Lumbridge because no one likes spammers, right? Speaking about spammers, I was on Facebook, right? A faggoty ass kid just spammed my conversation with my friend and that pissed me off. Holy shit! I was like only I was like only faggots. Uh, freaking spam you freaking queer <laughs> no nah, i'm joking i don't have uh, anything against gay people i just curse a lot so yeah just you can ignore that <laughs> but um the thing the reason why i'm doing this da daily task is simply because you can get the mystery box or no not the mystery bag no the mystery bag yeah and it basically gives you uh your shit back when i say shit like it gives you your money back so which is pretty uh, helpful and I'm using a beast of burden um it kind of helps a lot because holy fuck get off anyway beast of burdens really do help so I, I just my first time doing it so it's pretty crazy but I that, that's uh beast of burdens really do help they uh if I, I wish I had a yak though but if you didn't notice my uh, summoning level is very low 60 75 so that's the bad part but um yeah i know what people are gonna say oh yeah use your toko zoring uh i don't feel like using it so yeah but uh, uh i think i'm gonna do one or two tasks hopefully i'm i'm gonna make this video like 10 minutes long probably i don't want to make it too long because you know i fucking hate long videos like yeah, i know sing through a long video and you're like what the fuck like fuck up kid that always happens to me but um yeah, please, please comment on this video. If you want me to talk about something, I'll talk about it, you know? But basically in the series, it's like more chill out, you know? And I really recommend... If you're if you're going for a Maxcape, I'm not going for... Actually, I am going to go for a Maxcape eventually, not now. But I really recommend getting all... Uh, the, uh, no, Com Cape, I meant. Uh, Constructor's hat and construction shit. Because... Uh, Oh, nice. Fuck yeah. Because, um, it's really helpful. It gives you a lot of extra XP, like 21 bonus XP each time I do this shit. And I, I was going to summon an avatar because, uh, my clan has an avatar, but I'm too fucking lazy. And that's basically it. Holy shit. You know what I just noticed? You could just right click and click take, uh, beast of burden whenever you want. Holy fuck. No one told me this. Holy shit. What the hell? Hacks? And orts fall under you. Hacks? Oh nice, I got two of them. Now strange rocks are fucking piss me off the most because fucking... Yeah, I like, I, I want to do them, but like... F I already have 99 fletching, so what's the point of doing it? So, I have to do it on my own time, like, let's just say, uh... Fletching... So let's say, uh, I want to make blister wood poles for ranging. I'll, I'll cut it and use them. Uh, which takes a little bit longer if you guys know what I'm saying in dark mare, you know what I'm saying, but That's what I'm saying 
anyway um hopefully uh you know i'm gonna make this pretty short uh i'm gonna pause the video and um show you what i get for uh as a reward and then basically i'm gonna be making another uh video which is tomorrow about agility uh me doing my task on agility so th that will be up the day after this goes up and uh, that's basically it on sunday I can't really make a video so i'm sorry about that and that's really all I can talk about right now, but um, all I could really say is the greater runic staff is epic. <laughs> you could just throw your spells, that's why I'm teleporting with house teleports, if you guys can't see. I'm not hacking, I swear. <laughs> so, uh, you guys that have higher runecrafting levels will understand. That's basically it. I think it's pretty epic, but um, like I said again, I'm going to do my agility uh, tasks tomorrow. Or, yeah, after this video goes up. Oh, shit, fuck, I need to do one more. See, that little thing pisses me off. Anyway, um, let's do this real quick. Now let's go to Berberith. Fuck yeah. Holy shit, it takes like 30 seconds. It's such a XP waste. Oh my god. So close for a max cape. Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> but, uh, let's see what they get. Let you do this. Uh, I'm gonna guess I'm gonna get around 70, no, uh, 60k XP. I'm just taking a wild guess. Turn challenges. 20k. Bullshit. No, that was pretty good anyway. A 392 rocktail. Let's see how much money that is. Oh, nice. I think I made more money. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Anyway, that makes my bank, and um, I'll be back with a new video. Uh, no, first, please like and subscribe. It really help, helps me. Please comment if you want me to talk about a specific topic, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.